NanoCAD has about a dozen little utility programs that help you with taking care of layers. With the layer off command, you select an object and Nano turns off the layer associated with it. So I've clicked the button here and I come over to this elevator complex which is shown in red. I select it and the layer is turned off. When you go to layout mode, the layer, which is in this area, is also turned off. This command does have a couple of settings, so I'll start it up again. And down here on the command bar, I enter S for the settings. And one of them is called viewports. So I press V for viewports and it says, do you want to use VP freeze or off? We have been using off, but if we use VP freeze, and I'll type V for that, the layer will only be turned off in a specific viewport. So let me switch to viewport A3. I'll start the command, select the elevator, and it's gone. When I switch to viewport A2, the elevator is still there. The other setting options is for block selection, and here you have the option of selecting the entire block, a single entity in the block, or just ignore blocks altogether. The only time you'd use this one is if you have a complex block in which entities inside the block are themselves are on different layers. Let me just turn these doors off so that I can show you the complementary command, which is layers on. And there all you have to do is click it and all the layers you've turned off come back again. Related to this are the layer freeze and layer thaw commands, which work exactly the same way. Similarly, the lock and unlock commands lock the layer of the entity you select so it can't be edited and unlock them afterwards. One thing about the layer lock command is that when you lock a layer, everything on that layer is faded out. Before I start the make objects layer current command, notice that the current layer is zero. With this command, you pick an object and then NanoCAD makes its layer the current layer. So I'll click here, choose these external walls, and now when you look up here, external walls is the current layer. Related to that is the match layer command. This is useful for moving an object to another layer. So I'm gonna grab this line here. You notice it says select an object on the destination layer. So I'm gonna choose this, this one here because it's green, and you notice that line also turns green. The command has a name option, that lets you choose the name of it from a dialog box. I'm going to switch it back to elevator. The layer isolate command is pretty handy. Basically, you pick any layer you want and NanoCAD isolates it by turning off all the other layers. So I've clicked it and now I'll choose exterior walls, press enter and presto all the other layers are turned off. To return to the previous state, just click the Previous State of Layers button. There are additional utilities hidden under this little drop. So if we click this little arrow and arrive at this button. When you select it, NanoCAD will change the entity you select to match all the properties of the current layer. So I'm gonna select this polyline press enter, and because the current layer was elevator, this polyline now appears on the elevator layer and all the rest of its properties. The copy objects to a new layer command is a little bit complicated, but what it does is it copies an object to another position in the drawing while placing it on the layer of a third object. So let's try it out. Start the command. First thing it asks is the object that you want to copy and move to another layer. So I'll select this rectangle, press enter to continue. And now NanoCAD wants you to pick an object that's on the layer you want to change it to. So I'll pick the elevator. Then the command prompt asks, picks a base point. So I'll just choose this corner here. And now I'm moving it to another location. You can see that the rectangle is on the elevator layer. The layer walk command basically toggles between showing only the entities that are on the current layer and all the layers. So you basically use it twice. So notice right now that the current layer is bearing walls. So I'm gonna click on layer walk 
and only the bearing walls are shown. I choose the command a second time and the drawing reverts to its original state. The final two commands are a little bit dangerous. Merge layers essentially merges the entities of two different layers and discards one of them. So I'll click it and I've choose this exterior wall layer and NanoCAD asks me to select an object on the layer to merge. So I will select the elevator and NanoCAD checks to make sure you really want to do it. So I say yes. So the exterior walls are now on the elevator layer. And when I check, the exterior walls layer has been removed. If you didn't want that to happen, just press U to undo the command. The other dangerous command is the delete layer. So it doesn't just delete a layer and its properties, it also deletes all entities on it. So I click it, choose a layer, and they are gone. Once again, NanoCAD warns you, and you can say yes to remove them. Press undo to bring them back again.